Hello everybody. Now we are going to discuss the derivative. Definition of derivative f prime of x, which is called the first derivative of the function f of x, which can be written as df dx derivative of f with respect to x. We can calculate the derivative or we can say the derivative or rate, rate of change of a function f of x using this rule which is limit f of x plus h minus f of x over h when h is a very very small value or we can say h tends to zero so we have a function f of x and this function changes to f of x plus h and we have to find the rate of change using this rule for example if you have a function f of x equals x squared Find f prime of x using the definition of derivative. Step number one, you have to write this rule. And you have to write what is f of x and f of x plus h. f of x is given, which is x squared, and f of x plus h equals x plus h all squared. Instead of x squared, we have to write x plus h all squared. Now use the rule, substitute in this rule, limit when h tends to 0, f of x plus h, which is x plus h all squared, minus f of x, minus x squared, over h. Expand the brackets, so x plus h all squared is x squared, plus 2xh plus h squared, minus x squared. x squared minus x squared equals 0, so we can take h as a common factor here, h is a common factor so we have limit h times 2x plus h over h cancel this h with this one and the final result is 2x after substitution h equals 0 here so the derivative of f of x equals x squared is 2x example number two If f of x equals root x, then find f prime of x, which is called the first derivative or the rate of change of the function f of x using the definition of the derivative. This is the rule, f prime equals the limit f of x plus h minus f of x over h when h tends to zero. f of x plus h, this is f of x, so f of x is root x. f of x plus h is, instead of x, you have to write root x plus h over h. Now we have a limit problem with root x plus h minus root x over h, so you have to multiply by the conjugate. If you multiply your problem by the conjugate, you have here limit root x plus h times root x plus h, which is x plus h, minus root x by root x is x, and we have h times root x plus h plus root x x minus x is 0, now you can cancel this h with this one, so the final answer is 1 over, after substitution, h equals 0 here, so you have 1 over root x plus root x, which is 1 over 2 root x. Example number 3. If f of x is sine x, then find f prime of x. Write the rule, f prime is limit f of x plus h minus f of x over h when h tends to 0. Substitute f of x, which is sine x, f of x plus h, which is sine x plus h. Now expand this guy, sine x plus h. You have an old rule, which is sine x plus h is sine x cosine h plus cosine x sine h minus sine x over h when h tends to 0. Now you can take sine x is a common factor between the first term and the third one. Here sine x is a common factor, so you have cosine h minus 1 over h. Plus, here you have cosine x sine h over h. And the limit here when h tends to 0. So, you have a rule which is limit cosine h minus 1 over h equals 0. This is an old rule. So 0 times sine x equals 0. Here sine h over h limit sine h over h like sine x over x. 
sin h over h1 h tends to 0 equals 1. So here, this guy is 1 times cosine x, which is cosine x. So the final answer is cosine x. So the derivative of f of x equals sine x is cosine x.